Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, everyone. Waalaikumsalam. Good afternoon. Okay, today we're gonna listen to the second part of this seminar from our second keynote speaker. But before we begin, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Finalia Hoyronisa Afiari. I'm from IPS 2018. And I'm here as the moderator. And as I said before, we're gonna listen to knowledgeable presentation about oil recovery that will be delivered by our IPS is celebrity. <laughs> you can guess it, right? <laughs> yeah, Miss Paling Sal, my dong Haling. And for the audience, if you have anything to ask or something that make you curious, you can keep that first, and I will welcome you to let it up to our keynote speaker later in Q&A session. All right, Ms. Falinsa, are you ready? Ready, Ms. Vinalia. Okay, you may begin your presentation. The time is yours. Okay, uh, thank you, Ms. Vinalia, for moderating me, and also thank you for the audience who called me into this session. Uh, but now I would like to ask for help to share my screen. Ms. Vinalia, can you? Okay. Is this screen already appear? Uh, not yet, still loading. It's appear now. Okay. All right, thank you. So what I like to present to you all today is oil recovery. So what actually oil recovery is. I think you may have heard about oil recovery, right? So the definition uh, of oil recovery is a process used to enhance uh, the extraction or recovery of crude oil from an oil field. Uh, crude oil itself, development and production in US. Oil reservoir can include up to three distinct phases. There are primary, secondary and tertiary or enhanced recovery. So uh, let's talk about primary oil recovery first. So it refers to the process of extracting oil either via the natural rise of hydrocarbons or to the surface of the earth or via, via pump decks and other artificial leaf device. Since this technique only targets the oil, which is either susceptible to its release or susceptible to the pump deck. So this is very limited in its extraction potential. In fact, only 5% until 15% of the wells potential are recovered from the primary method. So next is secondary oil recovery. So this method involves the injection of gas or water, which will displace the oil and force it to move from uh, its resting place and bring it to the surface. So this is typically success successful in targeting an additional 30% of the oil's reserve. So through the figure could be more or less depending on the oil and of the rock surrounding it. And the third is enhanced oil recovery. So rather than simply trying to force the oil out of the ground, as did the previous two methods, enhanced oil recovery seeks to alter its properties to make it more uh, conductive to extraction. So there are three main types of enhanced oil recovery. So there are thermal recovery, gas injection, and chemical injections. So first is thermal recovery. So this is the most prevalent type of uh, enhanced oil recovery in the USA and works by heating the oil to reduce its viscosity and allowing easier flow to the surface. This is most commonly achieved by introducing steam into the reservoir, which will work to heat the oil. Less commonplace is the practice of burning part of the oil in order to heat the rest or fire flooding or situ or in situ burning. Next is uh, gas injection. So either natural gas, 
nitrogen or carbon dioxide, increasingly the most popular option, are injected into the reservoir to mix with the oil, making it more viscous while simultaneously pushing the oil to the surface or similar to secondary oil recovery. And uh, next is chemical injection. The least common method of uh, enhanced oil recovery, chemical injection works by freeing trapped oil in the well. So this is done by lowering surface tension and increasing the efficiency of uh, water flooding. And next, and for the example here, the most used bacteria stain in microbial oil recovery is bacillus strains. So let's see the process. First, water is pumped into the reservoir through injection wells to force oil uh, toward production well. So then it will be pressing the water that containing bacteria. While gas is injected to maintain formation pressure to slow the rate of decline uh, of natural reservoir drive. Carbon dioxide becomes miscible with oil, vaporized hydrocarbons, and enables to flow more freely, often followed by injection of water. So, water taken by polymers is used to aid water flooding by improving fluid flow patterns. Steam is injected continuously into heavy oil reservoir to drive the oil toward production well. So sometimes uh, the pressures of the reservoir are low at the early stage of the production. So in such uh, cases, artificial methods are used even during primary production. A very popular method used for low pressure shallow wells is sucker rod pumps to pump out the oil. These pumps having huge size of their drive systems, which move up and down make a significant side in the oil field, where often an array of such pumps can be seen. So the plunger goes down the well, moving up and down, pumping out the oil. So maybe that's all for my presentation. Back to you, Ms. Pinalia. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Palinsa. What an insightful insightful presentation right now as i promised before it's the time for can a session for the first can a session uh, i will choose three lucky persons and for the second session i will choose only two more lucky person but before that i want to ask to miss palin would you like to keep the questions first or answer it directly i will keep it first miss okay then then for you who can hold back your curiosity and wanna ask something to miss falin about oil recovery of course not about miss falin okay you may click raise hand feature now oh my god there are already three person <laughs> great for the first uh Person is Miss Aliza Fazla, Aulina Sohel. You may start your question. Okay, thank you, Miss Finalia, for letting me ask, and also Miss Farinsa for the great presentation. Um, actually, I'm curious: is it appropriate to apply enhanced oil recovery technology in our country, Indonesia? Yeah, so that's my question. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Miss Fazla. And for the second, Ms. Nabila Hana, please. Okay, thank you, Ms. Vina, for the opportunity. And also thank you, Ms. Pauline, for the great presentation. Uh, actually, I want to ask, uh, since you said, uh, you, you mentioned about in situ and also um, ex situ. Yeah. What is the differences between in situ and also ex situ, Ms. Pauline? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Miss Bia, for the question. And move to the next, Miss Agnya Yasmin, please. Uh, thank you, Miss Fina and Miss Salin for the presentation. So I want to ask, actually, the question is pretty similar and in line with Miss Arliza question. So if it if it's appropriate for us uh, for Indonesia to apply in 
enhanced oil recovery. What are the difficulties of implementing the enhanced? What is it? Enhanced uh, oil recovery oil in recovery. Indonesia. Okay, thank you, Miss Agnya. And therefore, I will give Miss Pal in three minutes, and we'll be right back. Okay, Miss Pauline, it's already three minutes. Are you ready to answer the questions? Yes, Miss Finalia. Okay, please. So first, uh, I would like to answer uh, Miss Fazla's question. So I will repeat. Uh, is it appropriate to apply enhanced oil recovery technology in Indonesia? So the answer is the application of enhanced oil recovery technology uh, actually is very appropriate uh, to be used as one of the strategies for increasing oil production capacity in Indonesia. So the answer is yes, because it is uh, hoped that the application of this technology uh, will make this country self sufficient in oil processing. Uh, so, but not oil processing, but in eliminating the need for foreign oil imports. So, of course, uh, the application of this technology will reduce the balance of oil deficit. So, which has not been resolved in Indonesia. Is it clear, Ms. Fazla? Yes, it's very clear. Thank you so much, Ms. Harlin. Thank you, Ms. Fazla. All right, next uh, to... Nabila question. 
Miss Nabila question. So what the differences between in situ uh, MEOR and ex situ MEOR? MEOR as means uh, microbial enhanced oil recovery. So in situ systems, uh, the oil wells are injected with potential microbes or selected uh, nutrients or molasses, uh, corn step liquor, glucose, sucrose, and nitrate salts as slugs uh, and shut in for a period of one until six months, followed by water flooding and analysis of the recovery. So the success uh, of this process depends on the activity in the shut in phase. So where either the added uh, or in indigenous microorganism grow while producing bioproducts and generally microbes that make bio surfactant uh, as products are preferred. And while in ex situ process, uh, the microbial products are made uh, outside the well and, late, and later injected into well as slugs trailed by water flooding or dissolve in injection water directly without any shut-in period. So is that clear, Ms. Nabila? Okay, thank you for your question. And the last is from Ms. Agnia. And the question is, what are the difficulties in impl implementing enhanced oil recovery in Indonesia, right? So uh, basically, uh, there are many difficulties in implement implementing enhanced oil recovery in Indonesia. Uh, so it can be categorized as reg regulatory, technical, fiscal, and supply chain. Supply chain, sorry. So for example, in uh, regulatory is legal uncertainty, uncertainty of contract issues, difficulty in trouble, uh, policy uh, policy changes and lack of investment in uh, security as one of them. So in the technical itself, actually it's expensive operating costs, a uh, lack of uh, experience and expertise uh, in enhanced, uh, enhanced oil recovery and many more. And for the fiscal, there are uh, investment credit a uh, contract extension, no tax share fa facilities, and also tax for holiday. And less is supply chain. Uh, besides the high cost, the high cost, there are also national capacity, uh, pressure, procurement, and CO2 supply strategy, or origin and infrastructure, uh, or transportation. So is it clear, uh, Ms. Agnia? It's pretty clear. Thank you, Miss Alin. Thank you, Miss Agnia, for your question. So back to you, Miss Finalia. Okay, thank you, Miss Valenza, for answering the three questions from Miss uh, Nabila, Miss Alia Zafazla, and Miss Agnia. And I will open the second session for Q and A session for those who still curious. Please. You may raise your hand. Okay, we'll have we have Rizkian, Miss Rizkiana Mira and Miss Rahil Norfilha. For Miss Rizkiana Mira, please you may uh, ask to Miss Palin. Uh, all right, thank you, Miss Finalia, for the opportunity and. Uh, thank you, Ms. Valenza, for the great explanation. So uh, I want to ask, what is the advantages of microbial enhanced oil recovery technology? Can you get my question, Ms. Valen? Uh Yes. So for okay. the advantage, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank okay. you, Ms. Thank Valen. you. Yes, thank you. And for Ms. Rahil Norfilha, you may ask to Ms. Palinsa. Yes, thank you, Ms. Finalia, for giving me opportunity. And thank you, Ms. 
Alien for a great presentation. Uh, my question is, why is Enhance is not implemented? Thank you. Oh, is it clear the question, Miss Alien? Uh, may I repeat the question? So, why is uh, Enhanced Oil Recovery implemented? Is it? Hello, Miss Rahil. I think, Hello. Yes. yes, I think that's yes. uh, what I get to from okay. uh, your question. Thank okay. you. Yes, yes, that's my question. Okay, Miss File, Miss Palin, I will give you another three minutes. Or, uh, how much time do you need, Miss Palin? Uh, it's up to you, actually. Okay then. <laughs> Three minutes, it's okay, I think. Yeah, it's okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, Miss Palin, I think it's already three minutes. You may answer the questions now. Okay, thank you, Miss Finalia. So uh, I would like to answer Rizkia question first. So the question is advantage of microbial enhanced oil recovery. So actually, uh, so many advantage in microbial enhanced oil recovery. Then in yeah, uh, so there are uh, first is uh, offers a suitable alternative for uh, marginally producing oil fields before abandoning them. So next is the microbes and nutrients are cheap, uh, readily available, and easy to handle. Next is well sweet, well sweated for a carbonate reservoir, uh, where other EOR or enhanced oil recovery technology are not 
applicable. applicable. So next uh, is the effects of the bacteria uh, in the reservoir. reservoir is depend on the growth, unlike other chemical additive, who affects uh, decline with time and distance. And the last is the microbial products are uh, biodegradable and environmental friendly. So maybe that's all for Riskia answer. Uh, is it uh, answering your question? Yes, Miss Malin, thank you for the answer. All right, all right, thank you for your question. So the last is uh, from Miss Philhawk about why is enhanced oil recovery implemented. So uh, because, uh, because enhanced oil recovery processes are implemented to increase the ability of, so of oil to flow to a well by injecting water, uh, eh, uh, injecting water, chemicals, or gases uh, into the reservoir or by changing the physical properties of the oil. Uh, the ultimate object objective is to pro produce uh, additional amounts of oil left behind after primary and secondary production. So maybe that's all for the answer. Is it clear, Miss Yohak? Hello, Miss Yohak. Are you there? I think Ms. Philhawk have has a uh, connection connection issues. Uh, let's okay. assume it's clear. Okay. Uh, for, for me, it's clear, Ms. Palin, the answer. Okay, okay I thank think, you, Ms. Finali. I think, yeah, I think it's enough for the Q and A session. Thank you very much for the audience who already gave uh, some questions and also thank you. Ms. Valinza for answer them. And now because we've come to the end of this session, let me deliver the conclusion. So oil recovery is the process used to enhance the extraction or recovery of crude oil from an oil field. And there are three distinct phases in oil recovery, which are first is primary oil recovery that refers to the process of extracting oil either via the natural rise of hydrocarbons to the surface of the earth or via pump jacks and other artificial lift devices. And the second is secondary oil recovery that involves uh, the injection of gas or water. And the last is enhanced oil recovery uh, that seeks the to alter its properties to make it more uh, conducive to extraction. And there are three types of enhanced oil recovery. The first is uh, thermal recovery, which works by heating the oil to reduce its uh, viscosity and allowing easier uh, flow to the surface. And then uh, the gas injection that is injected to the reservoir to mix with the oil, making it more viscous while simultaneously pushing the oil to the surface. And then chemical injection that works by freeing trapped oil in the well. And for the example uh, is microbial oil recovery with the bacteria is bacillus strain. And for the process, it starts with uh, injection well, where pressing water containing bacteria, biosurfactants, nutri nutrients, and then mi microbial metabolites, and then enhanced mobility, biodegradation of crude uh, oil to low molecular weight. And then uh, the oil is 
in the bear, bearing zone or production well. I think that's all from uh, this seminar, this second seminar session. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.